Assalamualaikum students. Here I am with um, a bit trickier question on this kinematics. Now this apparently looks to be an easier question. Let me tell first of all that from which year this question is taken. You can see at the top of the screen that this is from October, November 2011 and the variant is 43 and this is the very first question of this paper okay you should have this question with you and you, you must uh, read this statement thoroughly and then uh, we can see that how to solve this question okay uh, if you look at uh, this uh, question it says a woman walks in a straight line the woman's velocity t seconds after passing through a fixed point a uh, on the line is v meter per second the graph of v against t uh, consists of four straight line segments so the woman is at the point b when the time is 60 this is really very important to know that the woman is at the point b when the time is 60. so it says find the woman's acceleration for the first 30 seconds so there is no problem for you finding the acceleration for the first 30 seconds and again from well, from 30 to 40 seconds uh, but I still I can tell you how to uh, find this acceleration. Okay, you can uh, find these accelerations um, using the gradient thing or if you want to use those equations that is up to you as well. Okay, so let me use since I have introduced the equation so I'll be doing this through the equation. So we have the initial speed as 1.5. You can see that here is the initial speed which is 1.5. Okay, and the time taken is 30 seconds so the time is 30 seconds and the final speed is 2.1 to find the acceleration so I can use the equation that is V is equal to u plus a t and this will become V minus u over t that is the acceleration so that will be 2.1 minus 1.5 over 30 that is going to be point 6 over 30 so that is going to be 1 over 500 okay or that can be point uh, um, zero zero 0.002 I think yeah so this is 0 0.002 meter per second square that is the acceleration okay and then for the from 30 to 40 so you see that when it says uh, when the time is from 30 to 40 so you you will see that um, uh, like this is the interval from 30 to 40 so now the initial speed will be 2.1 and the final speed will be 0 over here okay so we have the initial speed is 2.1 the final speed is 0 the time taken is 10 seconds and again I believe you can find this acceleration okay now the, the second part that is uh, the part that I want to do uh, here it is second it, it says the distance a b okay guys you have to see that uh, this lady starts from the point a okay if I draw this over here let me use another color now she has started from the point a okay this is the point a now can I say that uh, this is B over here now you must tell me because if you look at this it says when the time is 60 uh, here is the time 60 the woman is at B so is this the point B is, is it the way to show the point B over here you look at this this um, question this speed time graph is uh, on both the above and the below the time axis so I I can't mark this B over here basically when the time was 40 this is the time when the time is 40 the woman return backwards okay towards the point A and she must have reached the point B when the time is 60 seconds and here the time is 0 okay so the woman has gone from A to let me call this point X okay and then A to X in the first 40 seconds and then from X to B in the next 20 seconds this is something for which I'm doing this this question look at this please be 
clear that the graph is on both the uh, sides of this time axis so that means this woman has hasn't gone uh, straight forward she went forward for the first 40 seconds and then she started moving backwards for the next 20 seconds and when the time was 60 she was at this point b now the question says find the distance a b so we have to tell that what is this distance okay so what i will do over here i'll find the distance a x okay so we can find this um you see this time uh, for the first 30 seconds there is a trapezium and then for the next 10 seconds there is a triangle okay so uh, i'll be finding this distance ax first so for that uh, guys i can't use just one equation you see that there's one stage there is the second stage and i would rather be going back to the o level mass thing so i'll find the uh, area under this trapezium for the first 30 seconds and then i'll add the area of this triangle so i have done it here uh, you, you can see that when i when i uh, take this as a trapezium so one of the parallel sides would be 1.5 and the other would be 2.1 and the height would be 30 so i have done it here so this is half into the sum of these two parallel sides times the height and plus this so this ax is 64.5 meters well, let's find the distance bx or the distance xb okay so this is simply a triangular region over here its base is 20 and its height is 2.2 though it's written as a minus 2.2 so I, but i'll be taking this as 2.2 okay so this bx since this is a triangular area uh, shape so i'll be using the area of the triangle this is half into 20 times uh, 2.2 so this is going to be 22 meters so all of this all of this was 64.5 meters and this one is 22 meters so what is the distance a b then you see that we will have to subtract so basically the examiner is asking us indirectly the displacement I'll be going in the detail of displacement in, in the kinematics 2 section. So displacement is basically the shortest distance between the, the starting point and the, the, the final point over here, the, where the journey ends. So he could ask us to find the displacement, but he's just uh, confusing us and asking for the distance AB. So that is going to be 64.5 minus 22. So I think that is going to be uh 42.5 okay so this a b distance is going to be 42.5 meters okay and then in the last part it says what is the total distance walked by the woman so you see this is really a good question if you want to learn the difference between the distance and the displacement this was really confusing here is using the distance a b okay so that was basically the displacement over here i just told you that this is 42.5 and of the total distance covered so you will have to see that women uh, went from a to x and then from x to b so this time you will add together these two times so the last part's answer is going to be uh, 64.5 plus 22 so that is going to be 86.5 meters Okay, right, guys, that's it from, from me uh, for this kinematics one. You can, there are many, many questions in your past papers. You solve them and you ask them if you have any problem. Inshallah, I'll try to make a video for you guys. And uh, next, I'll be talking about the kinematics too. Thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.